sorry for that bit of a coffee start, everyone, but welcome to SCB Season 11, Round 12 of the Belgian Grand Prix. One of my favourite circuits on the calendar. Uh, and one of, I've got to say, the best tracks that STV goes to. We've seen some brilliant races here. Whilst Melanie flipping about three cars in Season 8. It's all that classic battle in the rain between me and Fred stuff in Season 10. And now, Season 9, sorry. And now we've got this in Season 11. Finished play, that's when that one tracks, so we're going to follow him around for a bit. Uh, I will be talking to Top Fusion. The probably best suited person in terms of championship position at the minute. I'm, I'm not sure where he is after Hungary. I miss Hungary, sorry about that, I was quite ill. Um, throat and everything, so I decided not to commentate. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out where about the championship he is when we talk to him now. And I have to stop stalling and talking absolute rubbish out of my mouth. Got on board with finished play and there's no bit of fuss and sort of that. Fire of course, a very weird circuit to drive, except for one three are very much power related. Like if you've got a good that's right on speed on there, then you're gonna be quick. Except for you do need a lot more aero, a lot more turning. Better car balance overall to get a quick set of time. Or finished play here is looking to take on, I would say slow, he's running about that. So he's looking from a few of the corners already. He's definitely got a better, better speed speed. than one three. I love him. Yeah, he's breaking full of the corners, so. And save fuel and save his tyres on his outlet. Backing off, he doesn't want to mess his final corner up and set his lap up. Here we go then. Going on to the start finish rate, starting his lap now. Down towards turn one. More than likely we call a bit of a lock up. Could have got a bit tight, could have got the curb there, missed it a little bit. The crossing maybe attempted to. And down now to the best corner in F1 in my opinion, now Rouge. Yes, yeah, right on the curb on Raddy on there. Careful not to cut it will invalidate the lot very easily. The RS now open. And down the camera straight into the chicane. There's been a lot of accidents here over the years. Another lock up. A lot of lock ups on that front right, so that's going to be the tie to watch this race. I think that's going to be the one that picks up the most wear and decides when you're going to become another lock up there going into this corner. Now coming into the corner with no name. Blast the power down the hill before Puon. Got a bit squirrel on the exit there. He's going to go flat, bit of a lift, he can actually put him a push bar. I think that's it here. We have to just pain now. Double right hand to come before, back straight. We take this flat, yeah. Barely you take that flat and it's dry. Not squeezing the wet, and you can easily get on the exit curb and thin the tyres up and into the wall you get. We're going to have braking for the bus stop. Or it used to be the bus stop, no more of an awkward chain. Shadow of what the final corner of Spy used to be. 144.6. So, um, that's an alright time. I don't know how alright it is, but it's like. Not to be a bad time. 144.6, also from Dan Gaming, just 6,000 separating them. Three cars on a 44.6 separated by. Oh no, two, sorry, Total Pure did a 45. Now Peter comes quick as with a 44.2. Good luck for him. Stand on a 52, so I think you might have been blocked a little bit there on that lap. Let's see what he does on this one. It does look like he's pushing up another lap. Better. It is 
got really you know, porn heavy setup. And that's out with all yours. So, so yeah, definitely got over there. We're only there with the third. 435. He's very good in qualifying, but he just gets let like, down by his connection way too often. You know, he's actually out of the game already. He's like, so. I think he's like. Double lock up, we're only for chain. That power corner is going to kill you. Third of the 44 5. But we still still in second with TRP here. Quite good for him. Yeah, I'm going to uh, invite Oxycution for party now. Make sure that he's not about that. Good for me. Yeah. Alright, uh, I know you're on your out lap about set time, so I'll make you Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, basically, what you put for qualifying was in for only a set of 43 5. Do you reckon you can get anywhere near that? Well, I mean, there was there's a massive threat of uh, rain in the race. So it's meant to rain around like 20, 10, well, 15 to 20 minutes into the race. So, uh, light I was hoping on doing like a lap, uh, light. Okay. I was hoping on doing, doing a lap on, uh, supers. But, uh, that didn't really work out, because I messed it up. So, I'm having to go on to the ultras, but I'm, I'm confident I can get near to him. So, yeah. yeah right, that's it. And, uh, I, w I wasn't here hunger out, obviously, so... Uh, can you just update us on mm. what happened in the, like, championship-wise at Hungary? Yeah, the uh, so basically I am joined top with uh, Eric Stander. I think Perondi is like seven points behind Eric Stander. Oh, okay. So, okay, so yeah, but I'm gonna have to stay in the party now because I've started on that. Alright. <laughs> uh, I'll just run up to the team much. It's, uh, what you what you like hope for the race. Yeah, aiming for another win. It's, it's hard to say because it's going to rain, so anything can really happen, in fairness. Very so... Yeah, but I like, I like driving in the rain, so it's, it's, it's going to be a fun race. Yeah, it's going to be far as well for me to step and try. Mm. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's in Eric, not me eight, he's not that a good lap at all, it's 59. Uh, I mean, it's not that consistent in qualifying, but it's in the, in the races. Which is up here. It is the yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, are you going to be hoping that maybe it has a bit of a difficult race if you start midfield? I mean, I'm hoping way? that any of my like, challenges have a difficult race, in fairness. Yeah, as long as I have a difficult race and I have a good one, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine, I'm literally just going to finish my lap now. It's a bit of a scrappy lap. Sure, it'll be good one to put you up there. Oh, this is this, who's this, who's this? By the 
collections, I think. Yeah, these are working. Nice, stuck in. Yeah. It's alright. 439, yeah, less than 4 tens off, er off uh, Eric, I do. So, not, not a bad lot. As a matter of fact, where is Eric? Do you know? Hopefully. Do you know what position? Do you know what position he's in, or? Eric. Eric is in eleven. That's fine. I mean, I'm nice and absolutely sure that uh, Pron is going to disconnect from the race, so. Yeah. Like he always does. So. Hopefully, you can get the team from him going to turn one anyway. Hmm. I mean, my lap, my lap wasn't amazing in fairness. I messed up turn one a little bit. That's probably about a tenth all the way up to over the top of Rouge. and middle section probably lost about two or three tenths as well. So, yeah. Oh, uh, once I get back in the, good. once I get on like a straight. Oh no. Oh, TRPT's gone in front of me. Oh, go on, lad. Oh, Lurkin's behind you, it's on the sleepers. That's a mm -hmm. bad luck for him at all. Yeah. Eric Stan's retired, so he's gonna have a bit of a nightmare, isn't he? Yeah, he's gonna start in P9, so he's not even gonna get a special rubber. Oh, right, he's not going to get fresh rubber. No, he's in ninth. He doesn't get new tyres. That's unless two people below him don't move up. True. It's only Shadow. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, it's only Shadow that can move up though, so. Rip. I've gone too quick in this end lap. Just destroyed my tyres a bit more. Great. Alright, I shall leave you to it. Alright, good luck for the race. Thank you very much. See you later. See you later. Toxic Fusion there, as you heard. Joint top of the championship. He's had a uh, very good run of races late. Obviously, you know, after the first two races, he had zero points. Had a very poor start. So, he's done an incredible job to get back up there, where he is. Defending the title, obviously. Everyone's finished now, I think. We're just waiting for Victoria. Placing the bands in. And that was pretty good. So, you know how he does it. The bands in was obviously pretty much the number two driver at Renault behind Fusion, but, um, I, th I think he was happy with that position. Vansley was constantly supporting podium. Hopefully, I'll get right up there in the construction title. Right, so um, I can take Gary Eck and carry on that run up. Taking up his very awkward pit exit. Exit entrance here in Belgium. That can do a bit of a handful in the wet. Sometimes, but yeah, qualifying is now over. Last car coming to pit. We should see a, um, uh, an end screen for the session very soon. Predictions for the racer. Um, I think Eddie's going to disconnect. Uh, TRP is going to bottle it because he always does. Fusion probably win. Lurkins will crash into assembly. Lurkins normally does that. Not sure about Dan, never seen him race before. For an issue, it's sort of inconsistent, so when it rains, he might have some issues. Cape Gurrier, again, I don't really know. Matt, who is in, is very good in the wet. Eric, consistent, so he's going to move up. There we go then. Top 10 for qualifying is Eddie Peroni in first. TRPT of uh, Thrive. 
esports in second, well done my boy. Toxic Fusion in third, Lotions in fourth, Dan Gaming fifth, Finish Play sixth, Cape Gary under seventh, STB Matt in eighth, Eric Sander ninth, Project Group tenth, Total Pure eleventh, and some random dudes behind him. Game's too quick for me, boy. There we go then, restart any time now. Waiting for this session to load. I hate commentating by myself because I have to ramble and I sound like an absolute knob. You can see the cars lining up there on the bridge just to the left of your screen. Waiting for everybody to get the setups on the car. Will they go high wings? Will they go low? If they go low, they're a bit screwed to the rain, so I should imagine most people are going to go high. Don't know why I'm talking. I should probably stop. Here we go and restart any time now. Get onto the grid. Three lights, three lights, four lights, five lights. Five lights so it's lights out and away we go in Belgium. Mega start there from one from the clowns, I don't know who that is. Fusion as well, getting a very good start, and one of the Williams cars. That is... Is that Dan? Okay, alright, so, um... Our timing balls are still... This is a bit of an issue with the team of clowns. Behind. Oh, somebody's in the wall! Oh, it's a Toro Rosso. Fortis Greek is dead. Oh, rip that guy. I don't know who pushed him into what the... Oh dear. Oh dear. That, that's... That's not a good situation to be in. Yeah, back to the front. Ethan got absolutely mugged by Toxic going into turn one. It's done the third though, so... If he can stay there, I'll still be happy with him. William's going a bit wide, they're getting a bit squirrely going through pool. And that's got to be very, you know, shaky pants at the moment. Oh, Legend of Samson falls, and McLeod's still side by side. Jesus, we've been side by side for more or less than Radion. Now that red ball all over the back of Eric. Eric Stander? Question mark? Okay, so my timing screen has been a bit odd at the minute. But I've got an incredible fight here. Look behind this Red Bull now, you can see the massive train of cars. Kip Gurry had gone for a bit of a dive down the inside of Finnish player. Dense big KK now on the outside. Oh dear, there's all sorts of action going on back there. The Williams have done game now, dropping back from the top three slightly. And you get this massive battle for fifth place going down. And then the battle for eight. This is gonna be spicy now going down the Kemble straight. Dennis is probably gonna get finished here. Oh total pure die bombing the pair of them. I was trying to. Oh set to one, what's happened? Set to one. Oh, Shadow's in the wall. It's done the same as bloody Felt is great. Oh dear. There we go, our oh, Rouge claims its second victim. I'm not sure it'll claim a few. Oh, there's a rain already. Toxic said it was scheduled for about 10 to 15 minutes, and it's only lap two. It's already come. Very interesting. So it would appear that those that started on the ultras are going to last until the track was west enough for into They might have made a bad strategy call. Because by the time these guys on the ultras have to come in, which are probably going to be around about lap 5, maybe 6, it might be ready for inters with how long the lap is. 
can see here, Toxic Fusion, fastest lap of the race of 48 flat. Getting right on the gearbox of Eddie Peronda here. Good exit out of the turn one. Forget what the corner's called, don't, you know, mob me. Yeah. You will have DRS's lap, I think. Is it on lap three or after lap three? It's on lap three, you can see there he presses a green button on his steering wheel. What catch is that? Which is interesting. <coughs> no, it's a battle. Yes, it's calmed down for eighth at the minute. I'll tell you where it hasn't calmed down. That's about the fourth because legends. And Verstappen are now catching Dan Gaming the fourth. He's struggling in these punishable conditions at the minute. Looks like he's got hardly any grip. Goes wide again at Puan. Legends gets a massive slide on though. That's allowed Eric to catch right up to him. Those three in here. No, oh, no, Matt is left. Molly's already gone on to Inters. Alright then. Eric, can I get a move for fifth here? He goes for the inside. Can't make it, so it goes for the cut back. Can he make the move? Going into turn one, maybe? Massive dive! Nearly takes out the Mercedes, not the Mercedes, Williams. Hits a legend slightly. That was a bit of a dangerous move if you ask me, but you know, there's no harm done, nobody's got any damage. Ooh! You can see I have to catch the car there, don't need to ride on. Definitely getting very slippy out there now. You know, Shira's having to turn left on right handers, right on left handers. Yeah, that one. That's three. Finish players off the track. Oh, Molly's absolutely binned it there. Going through Blanchemont. I mean, it's basically good, basically done. It can be Raikkonen, hasn't it? That's what's happened there. So, Mr. Bottleberg does it once again. Ooh, the move here and Dennis has been absolutely murdered. I mean, um, the halo was definitely nearly needed a lot there. He's also in the clown off in front of that selection. He, he's got no grip. He's got grass on his tyres, the track's wet. He's having all sorts of issues. Our only four leaders in. Toxic is. He's putting the Inters on most likely. If he doesn't, he's a bit of an idiot. Yeah, there we go. Inters going on the Renault. Down gaming. Goswin from, I think it was P4. Yep, also on the Inters. Oh, both McLaren's have pitted. So Legends having made that mistake is now going to have to wait behind his teammate. No, he's not going to be happy about that at all. Edo and Peter, I think we might have made a mistake here. I think we might have stayed out one lap too many. That's a one, there's already an accident. Is the accident involving now? I think it was the second's got 
got wind damage on the left. Oh, Guerrier's out. Another victim of the Oru's Radion complex. That's three that have crashed out there. Very unfortunate. And that is come out the pits on the Super Soft. Nice. Now Verstappen, yeah, that wing damage is costing him. Finish has just gone straight through. Surely Ed is in this lap, he is. Surely Ethan. Ethan does not follow him! Ethan's staying out for another lap. What is he thinking? Definite shock limits problems there. Uh. Eric's jump toxic. Or has he? Oh my god, then surely not. Surely not. Oh! They've crashed into each other. Oh no. That. I'm not sure if he's blame there. I think you have to put equal blame on both of them for trying to go side by side through a rouge in the wet. It's not going to work, lads. That's going to be one to investigate after the race of two championship leaders. Are out. Or oh, one of them is. Cox is carrying on, and oh, he's not even got damage. The Staffan's also out. He's just retired. He's not. He's, so he's picked again to fix his wing, and he's put supers on. So you can see why he's retired. They're doing P4. So the top three still yet to pit. Is Ethan going to put inches on this lap? Let's have a look. No, he stays out again! Ethan clearly thinks the track is not wet enough yet. Nine drivers left. Matt is AI, so he doesn't count. I know he's back in now. All right, so we've got both McCowns with wing damage. It looks like one of them was soft. I genuinely don't know what these top three are doing. Surely the shot's too wet to keep running along these dry tyres. I mean, right, so seven. Ethan's currently got a 14 second gap to Eddie. Who's then another. It's gonna work, it's gonna, it's gonna be very close for Toxic when it comes out. If he were to pit this lap. Which I think he might because of his tyres. If you look on the inside you can see a lighter band. Which means that his tyres are looking very warm. So... Has Ethan got a problem? No, I think he just made a mistake coming out of the corner. I thought he had a problem there for a second. Total pure again mate, that's track limits. Got to be very careful with them. You can be investigated for that after the race. Yep, Ethan thinks right it's time to come in for the inters. Where's 
Eddie. Eddie's here, so Eddie's gonna jump even definitely. Oh no, Dan's out now. So both Williams have binned it. Oh no. And the important one is, is Ethan going to jump Toxic? And yes, by a mile. So I question whether he was making the right decision, staying out on those Ultra Sauce. Clearly he has. I mean, that accident didn't help Toxic, obviously, because he was sideways for most of our erosion the last lap, but that's still a massive gain. So, Ethan's currently net PT. And if Eddie, you know, carries on his recent form of having disconnects, Ethan could win this race. Currently on lap 8 though, still more than half a race ago. So, going ball with our current leader then, Total Pure, not very often, if at all, I've said that this season. But he is currently lead on the soft tyres. I mean, he's currently gapping Tigrelko. And is he gapping Edu? We'll find out in the next split. No. <laughs> no. Edu's just taken four tenths out of him in like a few corners. I don't think he has really got a pit stop on it, yeah. Actually, we've got 19 seconds on it. So I reckon another lap. Oh, Pierre's going to lead in this race. This could be getting very interesting, folks. Spa is drawing up yet another classic here today. Never lets us down. So Jake Ralco, one of the new drivers, is currently finds himself P2. Uh, he's got an 11 second gap to Eddie, so if we can keep pulling that out for another couple of laps, because he's using the soft tyres, then... This is going to be very, very close at the end, because these two guys are on the softs here. Pierre and Jake Ralco. Oh, is, is, Dennis is out! No, oh, Dennis. Now that's not very PG, so we're going to look away from that for a second. That to one is... Same as an accident, it's that to one. I think they're lying to me. Jake Rocko's now got 12 seconds on it. So the dry tyres are still currently better than the wets at this point. Pierre's now got 21 seconds to Eddie, who is net race leader, effectively. So will Pierre bail for the pit, so is he going to stay out? He's going to stay out, what about Tick I imagine he'll definitely stay out as well. Does. Race has calmed down a bit now. You gotta think that if finished player didn't have that wing damage on the right hand side, you know, he'd be up there with Eddie by now, probably. Dennis, there you go, leaving the session. Had that um, intimate moment, we'll call it, with the wall. Total Pierre, though, could. Well, I mean, he is. At this pace, he will find himself leading up the Grand Prix. Whether he can win is a different story, obviously, but. Imagine Total Pierre winning an STB race. The fanfare would be mental. What an upset that would be. 
Di Gralco obviously is well in his first race in the league and is in second place. You know, that's felt his Greek weaving. Legends, another penalty from up for one, I think that must have been at Radion. Mate, what is that? Channel link is inner Takumi out of the final corner there. Another penalty for Legends. Oh dear, what is this? Clearly struggling on those Inters. Wing damage not helping. Toxic catching using slightly. Anyway, right, I know this is a bit unprofessional for a stream, but I forgot to go to the bathroom before the race. So I'm going to leave you with our race leader. For a moment, I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, lads, I'm back. Sorry about that. <coughs> Again, this race has sort of died a little bit now. You know, with the amount of reti retirements we've had in the current gaps, not a lot of action to commentate on, unfortunately. Toxic is closing in on TRPT, but not by much. So a total of here would have a gap of 27-ish seconds to Edo at the minute, meaning he'd come out about 3 or 4 seconds in the lead. It's looking, it's looking really good for Salber at the minute. Who's that? I think that's Matty. About to get a lot. Yeah, that's Matty. Straight on at the cane, that's not helping him at all. Getting out of the way of the leader though, which is good driving from lap car. What you need to do is let them through straight away. Don't cause them any hassle. Here is a man, man then, who, if he finishes where he is, I think would take the lead of the championship. No. No. Okay, so Fusion would lead and then Ferroni would be two points behind. And then Eric would be ten points behind Fusion. So it's still looking very close even with Eric's retirement. Not 12, now 10 laps ago. Just getting bored with Oh, pure. Let's see how his tyres are doing. Yeah, you can just see that band on the inside of the tyre starting to creep through slightly. Probably going to be pitting... Um, I'd say within the next five laps, definitely. Maybe within the next three. Depends how quickly the tyres fall off. Same with Tigrelko's tyres. I see them slightly to wear a little bit. Oh, he's actually coming in. Oh, here we go. No. 
He's, he's going to come out behind Eddie. Will he come out ahead of TRP? Is the question. He does come out ahead of Ethan, so Tick Rock will jump to Ethan. There's some interesting developments here. Because Tick Rocker's tires are going to be a lot fresher as well. So you can see just how big the gap that Tokyo's got now. He's got a 30 second gap to his nearest rival. If he can stay out for another couple of laps, make that gap about 32 seconds, he's going to have a, you know, a 10 second gap when he comes out the pits. So that like he's basically he can afford a mistake and he'll still be in the lead. Total pure though right now he's gonna be thinking his hell head, don't bottle this, don't bottle this. It's so easy in the rain to just you know step a wheel on the grass or on a curb, spin the car out and then you're in a wall, especially at spa. Already seen three or four accidents today at Rouge. I wish it had a way of like seeing what tie wear it was on. Um, you know, let's go and ball the lap in the rain with Eddie from here. Seventh gear, turn up, safe and set, going to turn one. Go down to the first gear for the first corner. Obviously, that will be second or even third in the dry but in the rain you just want you know a bit of extra slow down on the turning just massively gone through our rouge again that would be flat in the dry but in the rain no chance whatsoever but Ethan's in again Ethan's in and he's gone with soft tyres if he's seen what total pure is and he's seen that total pure is Massive the quicker on those drives. And he's thinking, I want some of that, let's get on the drives, catch up to Eddie and Tigrelco, and then maybe jump them. So I think though, if it keeps raining, and the drives aren't going to be the opt optimal tire for that much longer, in my opinion, it would have been better going on the supers or the ultras. But you saw, like, how Toxic's done it as well. They can see, like, Toxic must have done that two or three laps ago. And see just how much time is gained on Ethan. I mean, it was about five, six seconds behind, he's now two, three seconds in the front. Oh, nearly lose it there going through the car. Yeah, still not pitting. He will have to pit at least once this race because they started on the drives. Obviously you start on the wet so you, you don't have to like use two compounds of tyres. But you start on the drives you do have to. Mandatory. We're only now thinking the same. So all these guys that went onto the inters are now going on back onto the drives. Take Rolko. You know he could have lost out massively here. If he would have stayed out another two or three laps and saw his guys going into drive, he must have thought, you know, he could have then gone on to the drive himself and, you know, been massively ahead of them. Fusion has got past Eddie. What about Ethan? Ethan's not going to get past. He's now up to speed. Well, either because Eddie's made a mistake. 
We've got the arrows because of the dry tires. Hangs it around the outside, got the inside, he's now on the outside again. A bit of contact. Go for the cut back. And you can stick it down the inside. He does. Very nice driving from Nancy there. No, yet yeah, though, Eddie's still right behind. This is getting very interesting. If Pierre wanted to now, you know, he could come in, bolt on a set of maybe even auctions at this point, and then just win. Because, I mean, he's got a 41 second gap to his nearest rival. You gotta think Tugualco might be coming in as well. Let's just have a look at where Total Pure started. They so started outside the points in 11th place. On those soft tyres that he's currently on. And he now leads the race by nearly 50 seconds. Well, just over 4. Um, that, that's just unbelievable. It shows you how unpredictable this racetrack is. It's one of the reasons why I personally love it so much. And he's still more or less right there with Ethan. I would have thought they would have maybe gained a bit in with him being on the slightly fresher and the quicker titles, but the way that the F1 games work is in the range, so I is the hard compound is, the better they do. So obviously with Ethan being on the soft, and Eddie being on the supers, it means that Ethan's maybe got the pace advantage. Which is why we're not seeing Eddie catch up maybe as much as we would otherwise. There you go, Tick has been caught, it's right up his shot. Move over, get out of my way. Yeah, that's the one we've done. Take off, we cannot now move over. Shelling up around the outside of Blanchemont. And take off, we've backed off. Wise move there. You think we're going to be next one to catch Take off, okay? Oh dear. Well, what's happening here then? Because it's not saying that Toxic is now only 27 seconds behind Pure. Oh. No. Oh! Pure's coming in, it's on the supers. Right. So that, that'll be why then. But Pure's got to hold on right now for 5 laps. Which means Toxic needs to catch 5 seconds every lap. I don't think that's going to happen. OTR beat it all off the back of Tigralco. Come on, move over, let me through. He's going to try it down inside, he does. Veroni gets through as well. Good spatial awareness happening for him just to see that the gap is still available. Now, because of that traffic, right behind Ethan again. We've seen though the track might start coming to take Alco again. And it carries on raining. So this lap toxic needed to catch five seconds, he's barely caught one. So currently, 
Oh, okay, he's still looking good for the race one. Which would be amazing. Oh, Take Rocco's out. He's in the wall. Yeah, he's tried going through Radion, not Radion, Blanche him on full speed and he's absolutely binned it. So that takes us down to now 6 active drivers and 1 AI with our legends being the AI. This race has gone to pot quite quickly to see. Around it. So that must have been to ride on again, we've seen him cut it a few times. That will use it two times because he now knows that even if he only gets past, all he has to do is stay within three seconds. I won't know what that means Jeff might tell him, but sometimes it doesn't, sometimes Jeff just decides to go on holiday a few laps and not give you any updates on the car behind which is quite annoying. The legends and finish move up a spot. Finish is about to move up another as he passes the AI into fifth. got to do is hold together for three laps or four hundred and twenty two and one twenty two. If he wins you've got to think total pure driver of the day driver of the day guaranteed. I mean an absolutely beautiful strategy. Not put a foot roll masterclass is the word that comes to mind. Is that it? He's still right there, but again, you know, the harder compound tyres do work better in the wet, which is why you can get any better traction out of the corners. Beautiful one there, three. Illusion ready on there, four. Eddie there. I think we're both catching toxic now. Toxic. I uh, struggle slightly. Oh, here we go, there might be a move here. They try to stick it down inside, but Ethan's covered it off nicely. I think this is a battle to watch, though, isn't it? So, like, you know, he's not much more action on the track. So we used to catch up with Toxic if we managed to at all. Now they get a good run out of this corner. It's about even between them. He's got lower wing settings. I think just about. Or slip stream doesn't really do much. No idea if that has gone into turn one. That's right up to the back of Ethan. He's a good one now out of T1 to set himself up for camel straight. And he has as well. If he has to go to run through Eau Rouge, he might be on. Oh yeah, that was lovely. So he can get me done going in, into this cane.
No, and I think that's Mars is all taking the spots done for this lap. We've seen that Ethan can get the better traction out the corners, which is pretty much what sector two is. Maybe at the end of sector three. Ready, but other than that, I, don't, I can't see him making a move this lap. Oh, Pierre. About to go into his 21st lap. Two laps remaining. I mean, I'm doing a perfect race, really. From start to finish. Hot sick as well. He's cold. Some of his tyre structures, okay. Maybe wasn't the best decision going on to the Inters. But. That's all in the past now. He's got ahead of Eddie, which was the main thing. And now he's set to take second place. Saying that though, Ethan's caught up a bit this one. And Eddie's only dropped back from Ethan a bit as well. Messed up his bones like I think his seat is starting to go off. Here he comes in the pit again. Yeah, Eddie's now falling out of the RS. I think that might be game set and match racing unless he makes an error or two. And another penalty for Edu as well for good measure. It's not looking too good at the minute. Ride on board with Total Pure for his final lap of the Belgian Grand Prix. One lap left, and then he's got his first race win of the season. Nice one, turn one, nice and smooth. Doesn't need to risk it now on the final lap. Very wise, that might have been a minor, probably. Oh no! No! Okay, that. that. I got a bit scared. If he would have been down the last lap there, I think I would have cried. That's it. Pure, nice and smooth. Don't need to take any risks now. I'm into the corner with no name. Feather on the throttle. And off the curb as much as possible because it will kill you. There we go then. Round into sector three. few corners left to go. Onto the back straight. Only really one corner. It's a any risk left to go. Right now launch them off. Take it nice and easy. That massive lift going through. No risk whatsoever. Final chicane left. He's done it lads, Total Pure is taking his first win of STV Season 11 and it's a Belgian Grand Prix. An absolute masterclass in strategy. If 
Toxic Fusion is going to take the championship lead and take second place. It might be a bit of an investigation with that crush with Eric, but we'll see after the race. My boy Ethan takes third. Probably. Eddie Peroni in fourth. Gonna be slightly annoyed with that, I reckon. Finished player, and I mean, he's massively off the pace. You know, he's nowhere near the finish line. But yeah, we'll get the top three in there for an interview dead quick. There he is, total pure, standing on top of the podium. I've been one who's going to remember for a while. We're going to the now. I think we've got everybody in, unless I'm mistaken. Are the top three present in the party? Yeah. No. Hello. The fish are left. Are the top three here? Are the top three here? Uh, went for yeah. fusion. Yeah, he's in that. No, no. Um. Um. Sorry, yeah, Jack, if you want to just include P3, um, then we'll wait for Fusion to get him. Yep. yep. So, start with so, P3. Start with P3. What in TRP to it, my race? boy. You've finally done it, you've made us proud. <laughs> I mean, it was a bit of a mess with strategy, just, like, take us through what was going on in the race, because it looked like inches were quicker, then drives were quicker. It was... An absolute mess what was going on. Uh, so basically, the rain started and it didn't get wet enough, so I stayed out and off so as long as I could. I was waiting for the DRS to be disabled because that's when you know you have to go on inters, but I just went on inters anyway just to see what it's like. Then Total Pure was still going on on his sauce and he was saying we were comparing lap times and the drives were still faster, so I was like, I mean, well, Fusion went first, he went on to the softs first. I went, fuck it, why not? And he went. So I just copied him after that. And, yeah, tried to catch him up. But instead, I had a battle with Prondi. And I just want to say that I held off the fastest person in the world. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, congrats on finally getting your podium. I know that you've been um Sorry, could I just uh ask Pete something? Yeah, go on. Um yeah Pete, uh any ideas on what was happening with the circuit? Is it code masters like coding? What 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 was oh, what do you think is the cause is, of the slicks working in those conditions? There is something wrong with that. I don't know I don't know if it had a name or anything. But sometimes it would start raining and the drives would be fine throughout the whole race. I think it's just a small glitch or something. But, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Alright. Well, I'm on to P2 then. Fusion. Mm hmm. Interesting yeah. race for you. It looked like at one point mm. you were on the right strategy and you might get into the lead. Then it turned out the drives were quicker, and you absolutely bottled it. And then you had quite an interesting collision with Eric, which I caught on stream, but we didn't get the full like, view of it, because it was blocked by the wall, so we just might like, talk us through what happened. Yeah, basically, um, I think I went on to the, the Inters probably a lap too early, that's why I came out so close to Sir uh, Eric. And uh, I got a really, really good exit off of turn one, and because he had to take like a sort of tight line coming out of the pits, he got a pretty poor exit going down into Eau Rouge. So I got, I, <coughs> I got the momentum. I got in front of him just, and <coughs> I think it's just because of the weather. Like I understeered sort of across into his line. It wasn't like intentional. 
I, I, I personally say it's like a racing incident. There's no intent there. It's just because it was the weather. It was quite a sort of tough, tight, <coughs> tight situation. So, yeah. Fair enough. I mean, do you feel annoyed at all by the fact that you was looking pretty strong for the race winning then? You know, a glitch on I mean, Cody's Park, uh, Poshua. Sort of. But I haven't really sort of taken a hit in the championship after this race, so it's it's, it's okay. Like, fair play to Total Pure as well. <laughs> yeah. Maldi, do you want to ask anything? Uh, Fusion, you're now 18 points. You, yeah, second, uh, 18 points ahead of Eric Stander. You gain the gap out on Eddie Perande. Uh, you are double champion, right? Yeah. We're going into the Italian Grand Prix. I'd like you to think it is that you could be STB's first triple world champion. Well, with um, Perondi's connection. And, I don't know, I, I think Stan has sort of dropped off in pace in the race recently as well, so... So, yeah, I think it's... I think there's a good chance. I don't want to get my hope up too much, though, because nothing's ever guaranteed. Well, hopefully you can have a um, good race in Italy next week. Mm, I hope that too. Alright. This is a great interview. So, um... Going on to the hand. race winner, <laughs> Pure. You've finally done it. You've won a race. I mean, yeah, it, it was just still it, it was a masterclass in strategy, really. You know, I spoke about it on stream. Yeah, I was super lucky that I dropped to P11 at the end of qualifying as well. Yeah, those sauce really like. I mean, the pretty much the reason you won the race. I mean, how do you feel? Yeah, after I just that? want to see like how long they would go and. Yeah, and that's why my space was all right compared to intermediate, so... Okay, Molde. Just stuck with it. Let's help your uh, congratulations on your victory. Um, kind of like a... Is it going to be, you know, a, a one-hit wonder, as they say, or... Do you think that it's possible to get, you know, some more podiums this season, possibly another win? I mean, if there's more... Uh, rain that won't like in like that same rain maybe I will get good position the okay. same lag glitch luck well congrats to Pure on being the first STB race winner from Finland well done yes. okay so that concludes your podium interviews of the Belgian Grand Prix a very um very weird Grand Prix. We had a lot of drivers crashing, probably affected by the changing conditions. Intermediate slicks were used hmm, not correctly by some drivers, but hopefully the sun will be blazing hot next week in Italy as we con as we conclude the European season. He is now 18 points ahead in the championship. He's got it all going for him. Join us next week in Italy, where the championship will continue and it'll be hotter than ever and hopefully we'll have an even well we'll have a more exciting grand prix we do apologize about tonight's race it was very very strange with the uh, conditions and hopefully italy will be a more interesting grand prix so congrats to the podium finishers crpt Project fusion and of course help you uh, we'll see you next week for the italian grand prix from monza